Michigan's 2007 season is one of the most bizarre seasons that I can remember in college football. Michigan was coming off a 2006 season that was like so many recent seasons for Michigan, close but no cigar. See, in 2006, Michigan started 11-0, including wins at number two Notre Dame and at Penn State, earning Michigan the number two ranking in the nation. Up next, a trip to Columbus to face the number one Ohio State Buckeyes. That's right, number two Michigan at number one Ohio State. It doesn't get any bigger than that. And on top of that, former Michigan great head coach Bo Schembechler died the day before the game. Michigan wanted to win this game to get to the national championship. And they also wanted to win it for Bo. In the game, Ohio State jumped out to an early lead and was up 28-14 at the half. Michigan clawed its way back and was down 35-31. to Ohio State was driving but facing a third and 15. Troy Smith threw an incomplete pass, so it looked like Michigan was getting the ball back, but he was hit high by Sean Crable, which extended the drive, led to an Ohio State touchdown, and pretty much sealed the game. Sorry, fellow Michigan fans, for bringing up the Crable hit. That's how close Michigan was to playing for the national championship in 2006. Instead, they went to the Rose Bowl, and got smacked by USC. As for Ohio State, they were dominated by the Gators in the national championship. More on the Gators later. But this video is not about the 2006 season, it's about the 2007 season. Sure, 2006 ended in disappointment, but Michigan was ready to bounce back. They had a team coming off an 11 win season with plenty of star power, Jake Long, Chad Henney, Mike Hart, Mario Manningham, and a preseason ranking of number five. First up on the schedule, FCS Appalachian State. This is the part where Michigan fans groan. That game was crazy because it felt like Michigan was getting a scare, but they were going to be able to pull it out at the end. Instead, App State blocked a kick that would have won it for Michigan, so Michigan lost at home to an FCS team. It was and still is considered one of the biggest upsets ever. App State was no slouch. They were FCS champions the previous season, but still, this was a loss that just could not happen. Michigan's hopes for a national championship were over after week one. That disappointment carried over into week two against Oregon. Another massive disappointment in the big house. Michigan could not stop Oregon's offense at all under first year offensive coordinator, Chip Kelly and they suffered a 39-7 loss at home. But then things got interesting. Michigan shut out rival Notre Dame in Week 3, 38 to nothing, which started a turnaround for this team. They won eight games in a row. Notre Dame, number 10 Penn State, at Northwestern, Eastern Michigan, Purdue, at Illinois, Minnesota, and at Michigan State. Yeah, I know most of those are not powerhouses, but still, Eight straight wins after that disastrous start was impressive. But unfortunately, the regular season ended on a disappointing note yet again with losses at Wisconsin and at home against Ohio State. Lloyd Carr also announced his retirement after the Ohio State game. Next up for Michigan is to find out who they're going to play in their bowl game and also find a head coach. So unranked Michigan was set to play the number nine Florida Gators the reigning national champs, led by Urban Meyer and Heisman Trophy winner Tim Tebow. Florida was favored by 10.5 points in this game, but Michigan's offense could not be stopped. Chad Henney threw for 373 yards and three touchdowns. Mike Hart ran for 129 yards and two touchdowns. The only thing that stopped Michigan's offense in this game was itself. They had four turnovers, including two fumbles by Mike Hart, who never fumbles, one of those being at the four yard line. If not for all those turnovers, the score would have been even more lopsided. But the Wolverines won 41 to 35. So Michigan went from losing their opening game at home, ranked number five, to an FCS team, to beating the Heisman Trophy winner and Urban Meyer, who were the defending champs in the Capital One Bowl. What a bizarre season. Looking on was newly hired Michigan coach, Rich Rodriguez. But that's a story for another video.